Hi, my name is Louis Perrault. I'm an uh, attending surgeon at the Montreal Heart Institute and professor of surgery and pharmacology at the University of Montreal. I was here today at the International Academy of Cardiology in Toronto uh, giving a, pr a presentation on the management of early bypass failure after coronary artery bypass grafting surgery. Basically what we did, since a, it's a controversial topic and a rare but very lethal event, uh, we looked at a series of 5,500 patients that were operated at the Montreal Heart Institute and we found out that uh, 20, uh, 39 of them went back for co post-op coronary angio in the first 72 hours after for suspicion of graft failure. And these 39 patients, seven had completely normal findings, so no problems that were graft related. 32 of them had graft problems. Most of them were kinks at the level of the uh, graft, stenosis at the body of the graft, or uh, anastomotic problems. So these patients were managed uh, through a collegial decision with cardiologists and surgeons in two different fashions. One group, about half, uh, did get uh, repeat revascularization, either PCI or surgery, and the other one was treated conservatively. Uh, we found out, looking at our results, obviously this is retrospective, that we had less enzyme release in the aggressive revascularization group. Uh, this uh, making us think that perhaps this is the way to go, uh, try to salvage myocardium, although there were several limitations to this study uh, by the fact that there were great delays between the suspicion of graft failure and the angiographic process. Uh, also, despite having less enzyme release in the aggressive therapy group, the operative mortality was 15%, which is a, much higher than what was predicted by the preoperative score. So this uh, under, uh, understates, or not understates, but uh, emphasizes the importance of this clinical problem and the fact that we should be looking at, even though it's a rare event, at randomizing perhaps patients to PCI or redo surgery and also improving uh, the length of time uh, between the suspicion and perhaps uh, suspicion and angiography and perhaps changing the way we monitor patients after surgery.